Um, the first time I got into ocean sports was when I was four years old. Being blessed growing up on the island of Maui, my parents were avid surfers and windsurfers and um, because of them, they just kind of gave me the greatest opportunity to get in the water. And they were both working full-time jobs, so a lot of times it was the weekends that we'd get to go, my brother and I. But just the fact that we lived on an island, it was very accessible and the culture was very, um, you know, ocean-centered. So that really made it um, easy for me to kind of follow in this professional athlete footstep. I never really thought about mastering any disciplines growing up. I knew I loved them all. And the fact that I was able to do them consistently because of the conditions provided on Maui, being that it's windy and there's good waves pretty frequent, you could kind of bounce around multiple sports. And it's also a hot spot for a lot of the sports that uh, we know today, you know, they were being invented while I was growing up. And that right there really made it pretty easy for me to kind of get into them all. And it was all fueled based on passion. I think I felt like an outsider growing up mainly because I had my hands in so many different sports and within each sport or discipline of surfing, there's uh, sort of little tribes that you jump in between. You know, you're either with windsurfers, you're with the kite surfers, you're with the surfers, the stand-up paddlers. You know, there's like different groups of people that love to do these sports. and when you're not consistently in one, you don't really have a place in any sort of thing. And for me, it wasn't about being in a clique or kind of one of these tribes. It was obviously just doing the sport. But at times, you know, when you're growing up, it could feel uh, like you're not a part of something, you know? And quickly I outgrew that mentally. Um, and now I feel comfortable in my own skin doing what I would rather do. And I oftentimes just do what I want, you know? Like, this is kind of my path. And, people don't like it that's all right because everyone has their opinions but that's um yeah you know it was, it was a good good learning experience growing up as far as I'm concerned every sport that I've been able to do I've been able to draw um, on certain things that the other sport didn't have so in a very critical situation especially in big waves um, I'm able to rely on my windsurfing my kiting and my small wave surfing and my foil riding and my stand-up paddle um, endurance, you know, all these things help me survive a bad wipeout, as well as kind of, I think, um, know every angle of what possibly could happen. All those different approaches for so many years, um, it's just, it always kept wave riding very fresh. I never got bored or sick of just doing one sport because as soon as I kind of felt like I was getting burned out, I could just transition to another one. And because I was doing so many in one single day, it was like, I always felt like I was behind the eight ball in terms of progression, like, oh, I can always be better um, because, you know, everyone's improving everywhere around and you're like, ah, I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> the sea for me makes me so happy because it's just sort of a place of, you know, I can constantly test myself, but also enjoy myself at the same time. It's always there. It's for free. And, uh, you know, I grew up doing it for so long that it's kind of who I am now. Like really imagining not um, being in the water is almost worse than going to jail. Or it is like going to jail just because um, it's like, feels like it's built into my cells and the salt water in itself feels really good. Just being emerged in it and uh, just kind of being one for a moment. Um, all that other stuff just sort of melts away that you take from land. Uh, for me right now, focusing on winning a Big Wave World title on the Big Wave World Tour, I've been able to win a lot of different things across a few sports and um, it's just, for me, each event is sort of like, uh, you know, not so much beating someone else, but kind of like proving to myself that, okay, I've reached this certain point and where can I go next? You know, it's like, um, winning is just, uh, you know, basically having a lot of fun doing it. And um, my goal is for sure is always to try to be the best I could possibly be. And to be the best I could possibly be requires just um, testing myself against the world's best consistently. A place in Fiji called Cloud Break is unbelievable. When you get a really big wave there, um, it's just gonna be one of the longest barrels of your entire life. And one of the most beautiful as well. But then there's also aspects like the darker, colder places like Nazare, Portugal, or um, Mavericks in California, they're cold and scary, but one ride out there can give you an adrenaline rush that would last uh, the entire summer. 
Um, it just depends on, you know, where I'm at in the world at that moment. It's pretty tricky to surf those waves consistently since they're very rare. And so, I mean, yeah, that's really just, uh, you know, wherever I'm at. I, I, I don't not like anywhere. I think every place has sort of something special about it.